Me and Daryl are on the road heading back to Winnipeg to get more loads and Daryl hears something strange with his truck and he pulls over. What the hell? I open the hood to find that I have a busted fan belt, no water pump. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess try to get it up to some place. Some place off the road anyway. There it goes. I have no power, I have no throttle, I'm in neutral, the engine is running, but it's at an idle. Lisa, my truck just died. She ain't gonna make her home with this thing. You got an idea. Can you push truck me over the hill? Yeah, I'd love to push you. There's a lot of things that could go wrong when you're push trucking. The person in the back has no control. They come up tight against you and they put the foot in it and they're pushing. They can't steer. It's all about the guy in the front truck that does all the steering, the guy in the back truck does all the pushing. Push trucking is something that I wouldn't uh, recommend everyone to just try. There's a certain amount of skill involved. You want to come up on them and then you match their speed and then you just come in real close and then you just touch down. And the person in front is the one that's doing the steering. They have to drive in such a way that they don't push you into oncoming traffic or off the road in the ditch. So you got to trust the person that's driving you because when you're pushing, you don't have control where you're going. Lisa pushes me for 120 kilometers. We make it down, I make it to a shop, pull in, get my truck fixed. You know, when you're locked to the back of me like that, you're pretty much at my mercy on the driving. Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> I wouldn't want it anybody else pushing me 120 kilometers at 80 kilometers an hour. <laughs> when you're out on these winter roads, you don't have too many options. If something like that goes wrong, you do whatever it takes 